Hey, this is Dave Hompes from h-pylori-symptoms.com and a very, very quick two or three minute video for you today on what causes stomach ulcers. And um, uh, for many, many years, doctors and uh, medical, uh, the medical establishment in general thought that ulcers were caused by stress. So they would tell people, oh, you have an ulcer, you need to cut down your stress levels and manage your stress better and blah, 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 blah. And, um, that went on for a number of years, a number of decades in fact, but all the time underneath that there were some smart doctors at work who thought that there was something else at play um, in terms of causing ulcers. And so a lot of the work was being focused around this bacterium called Helicobacter pylori or H. pylori for short, um, which is a corkscrew shaped bacterium that can live in your stomach and small intestine and it buries into the lining and it causes damage and inflammation. And they proposed that it was actually H. pylori that was the main cause of ulcers. So took them about 20, 25 years to prove this, but eventually they proved it. One of the smart doctors, Dr. Marshall, a doctor from Australia, he actually infected himself with H. pylori and he developed ulcers. And in 2005, him and his partner, Dr. Warren, were given the uh, Nobel Prize for Physiology and Medicine for proving that H. pylori causes ulcers. Now, of course, that sparked a lot more research on the, on the matter, and statistically now, it's believed that H. pylori causes 80% or four-fifths of stomach ulcers, and about 90 to 95% of ulcers in the upper part of the small intestine, the duodenum, and these are called duodenal ulcers, okay? So, if there's about 20% in the stomach caused by H. pylori, what causes the rest? Well, Look no further than what's on the end of your fork because a lot of the foods that we eat can contribute to ulcers as well. We eat a lot of foods that are not really uh, friendly to the lining of our, our digestive system, uh, particularly alcohol, smoked food, pickled foods, things with vinegar in them, acidy type foods as well. Uh, they're not particularly great. And there are other foods that we eat on a more common basis, maybe some of the grain foods that contain gluten that don't necessarily inflame the stomach, but they certainly inflame the small intestine and can cause all kinds of problems. Um, if you know, if you're gluten intolerant, or you have celiac disease, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about there. Uh, and then the third cause of ulcers is thought to be um, cigarette smoking, although that's thought to be uh, quite a small percentage of causes there. So um, I hope that's helped. If you'd like further information, um, particularly on H. pylori, please feel free to visit my website, which is www.h-pylori-symptoms.com. Uh, and if you do have an ulcer and you have not been tested yet for H. pylori, certainly recommend that you investigate that with your, uh, with your doctor. Um, I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, my name's Dave Hompez and I'll see you next time.